Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I am going to share a beginner's uh, makeup kit. So it will have all the basic uh, makeup items. I don't want to make it extremely complicated. So I'm going to uh, recommend products that are uh, quite useful and will come handy. Even if you are not a beginner and you want to create your uh, simple, affordable makeup kit, then this video will help you out. All these products that I'm going to share with you have been tested and tried by me. And after going through tons of other makeup products that I already own, I have picked these uh, few products and, and the good news is that all of them are quite affordable under 500 rupees and few of them are even for less like I think 200 or 199 so there are only two products that are in 500 rupees category rest of them are below 300 so yeah so without wasting time let's start the video so this video is made in association with my haul store and also Amazon's Prime Day sale is coming so on 23rd and 24th Amazon will be running a Prime Day sale so you can wishlist all the products and buy them during the sale because everything will be on amazing deals and discount and whatever products I'm going to show you I'm going to link everything in the description box so just add them in in your cart and wait for the Prime Day sale to grab them on really good discounts so let's start the video so uh, for any beginner or for, or for anyone for that matter prepping uh, the face is very very important so whenever you are doing your makeup just make sure that your face is clean so i've just washed my face with plain water i don't use soap in the morning and now i'm going to apply a hydrating primer my skin is dry i'm using a hydrating primer if your skin is oily you can use a mattifying primer so for mattifying primer i really think uh, the color bar primer is really good i'm going to insert a picture here and uh, also the lacme primer is very good again i'm going to insert a picture here so both the primers are silicone based and they are going to smoothen out your skin and will also mattify your skin and keep it oil free for a really long time the rest whatever products i'm going to use for the base are more or less for uh, normal combination skin so they most of them are you know mattifying in nature and i generally like to use mattifying products during summertime because it is very very humid i don't really want to become a grease ball so let's start with the priming and i'm using maybelline fit me dewy plus smooth uh, primer which is for normal to dry skin i really like this primer it is very very comfortable it's not extremely dewy or greasy and it's not glittery which makes it a perfect primer even for the daytime so this is going to moisturize your skin really well without making it very greasy or oily because we don't want to use anything too greasy on the skin otherwise the makeup is not going to set well and it's going to slide so do not take a lot of product take around a pea size and just massage it into your skin now for foundation i am going to go ahead with fit me foundation this is one of my all-time favorite foundations uh, this is one of the most affordable and very 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 good uh, foundation in affordable you know general category um, also you can grab these foundations on really good discount most of the time they fit me foundations are on discount and they have so many shades i think they have more than what 14 15 shades right now and as far as i know they have added more colors i'm in the shade 332 golden caramel now whenever you're buying makeup just do not uh, compromise on your base makeup always buy base makeup from a good brand a shade that matches you completely because you can use cheap eyeshadow cheap blush bronzer powder anything on the top and everything is going to look good so I am not sure see if you are of my complexion you might not even find shades for yourself in affordable categories because they generally have very very light shades Maybelline is a very very good brand to start with and uh, since they have so many shades you will be able to find your shade very very easy and you are a beginner start with less so do not take see this is how much foundation i have taken it's around a pump and i'm going to work with it i do not want a lot of product on my face and especially if you have dry skin make sure you are not using too much product because you will end up with dry crusty skin for concealer i'm going to use fit me concealer from maybelline because of two reasons first of all i really like the finish it is very very lightweight and it's going to give you like medium like light to buildable coverage i do not have under eye 
dark circle so I do not need too much coverage there plus my under eye area is dry so if I cake it up like I load it up it's going to look extremely crusty and wrinkly which we do not want so now the shade I'm using is 36 golden this is not uh, very light it is kind of brightening the best part about this concealer is that it is very lightweight um, has kind of a runny consistency and that's the reason why I like it because you do not struggle while blending it so I'm just keeping the concealer towards the inner corner because in any ways I'm going to spread it out using a sponge now one pro tip is if you want more coverage let your concealer sit on your skin for few minutes before you start blending it because then it will become thicker and will give you more coverage I'm not going to do that but if you want more coverage this tip always works so when you blend your concealer just make sure that you are not spreading it out too much and just focus on the areas where you want the coverage and with the butt of the sponge which you have just used to apply a foundation just blend the edges of your concealer so that there is no like an eye mask situation and your concealer is nicely blended next I'm going to set my makeup uh, if you have oily combination skin it is really important for you to set your makeup uh, my skin is dry but since the weather is quite hot and humid I would like to set my makeup so that I do not sweat it out you know sweat out as my entire makeup my make I sweat a lot uh, on my t-zone I always set my makeup with a nice compact so for compact I have fit me powder here so I think fit me powder comes in two sizes so this is the smaller one and this is priced at rupees 250 to 49 or something and I think it's a really really good product here I have it in the shade sun beige and I'm taking a little bit of powder and just dab it on the area where I want to set my makeup I'm not going to drag it around now if you are a beginner and you just do not want to get into too many steps then just skip this step I am going to use a contouring palette this is I'm not going to exactly contour my face um, I don't contour my face ever I just like to use a nice a bronzy color around the perimeters of my face because what happens when you have just your makeup on um, it might look like a mask so if you if you apply a nice bronzer it's going to create shadows around your face which is how our face naturally looks and I have this very beautiful Swiss Beauty Skull Lift Contour Palette here so if you see inside it has a nice uh, brightening powder which you can use under your eye it has a highlighter here then there are two shades of contour I'm going to mix them or I'm just going to use the darker one here I'm again going to use the same brush I will take a little bit on my brush tap off the excess and just apply it on the perimeters of my face just to bring some color back I always do this step because I like how my face looks after bronzing see if you compare both the sides this side looks much more you know has more dimension to it and this side looks flat that is the reason why I always apply bronzer if you do not want to invest in a bronzer or find it expensive then just buy a compact which is like around two shades or three shades darker than your complexion and it will do the trick for blush I have this beautiful blush from Miss Claire so this is in the shade 2 and I really like it the blush quality is very very good of Miss Claire uh, this particular powder blush is very good I'll swatch it See, it is very pigmented it is very smooth uh, it is a nice matte formula just be very careful but this reach has a lot of different colors so for blush use a small brush like this one uh, otherwise you will have a lot of color on your cheeks so this kind of brush is very good uh, if you just want to place color on a particular area so I think this brush is from a brand called Lakara I'm not sure if they still make brushes because this is a very old brush some of the brushes that I have in my collection are very very old I just don't throw them away because I really like them see the color is the blush is very pigmented make sure to use a very little and then blend it towards your temples this way 
so this has blended already and as you can see my face looks very nice and that base makeup is looking very good um, nothing is looking out of place there is there isn't too much going on now i'll do my eyebrows and for that i'm going to use inside cosmetics brow pencil i'm using it in the shade brown and i really like this pencil i have talked about it in a lot of my previous videos this is one of the best affordable uh, eyebrow pencils here so when you are doing your brows do not apply too much products uh, here in the beginning of your brows because uh, it gives you that boxy brow kind of look and I always like to start from the uh, the bottom because I can just carve out the shape and then I fill it in and always make sure to brush your brows because that way the product is going to distribute evenly if you're a beginner and you really want to have an eyeshadow palette then try these eyeshadow palettes from swiss beauty this is their nine pan shadow palette and this is priced at rupees i think 260 269 which is really good so i'm i'm going to start with this color in the center because i'm going to create a crease first so i'm going to place the color into the crease where you have the crease of your eye you know you can just feel it and just place in the socket like where your eyes fold on the fold see the color is nice it blended in very quickly and it is a matte color and I really like the formula the formula is very nice so without putting too much pressure just with very light strokes uh, just blend the color in the crease next i'm going to take the darker color here which is again again a brown more like a chocolate brown shade and i'm going to put it towards the outer v here and just blend it upwards and inwards i want the concentration of color towards the outer corner that's the reason why i'm just placing the color going ahead with the shimmery berry color I'm going to use my finger because I think the brush is not picking the color well for liner I'm going to use Lakme Insta liner this I think retails for 100 rupees and it's not a waterproof eyeliner but it is quite long straight it is matte and it is affordable so this eyeliner is really good it is very easy to apply and it gives you very nice matte black finish and as you can see it has glided on really beautifully and the pigmentation is really good but it's going to take some time to dry down that's the only challenge i feel with this eyeliner otherwise the eyeliner is very good so for lipsticks i'm going to use uh, it's raining like crazy outside okay so this is ny bay liquid lipstick in the shade snuggle secret i really like it the color itself is very pretty and the formula is also very nice it's like a warm tone brown so for my mascara i'm going to use the colossal mascara so this mascara is very old very famous it doesn't really need any explanation or any introduction last step is to set your makeup with a makeup fixing spray for that i'm going to the swiss beauty makeup fixer so this is how my finished makeup look looks like i'm very happy with how it has turned out with all affordable makeup products so i'm going to link all the products in the description box below i hope this beginner's makeup kit uh, guide uh, it's helpful to you guys uh, if you find such videos helpful then give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to do uh, a video on bridal kit uh, just let me know i would love to do an affordable and, and high-end version both and yeah that was about it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful i'm going to link all the products in the description box below do not forget to check them out and i'll see you very very soon in my next video till then take care and bye